Hey kids, it's Daryl again already with another Mandela Effect Earth Changes. Uh, this is a request actually, more so than an update. I just couldn't resist because we're having really good success with the ones that people are requesting in their area so that they can go out and see if we're actually seeing what we're seeing here. And So I couldn't resist because the last two have been great. If you haven't seen them yet, the one for San Diego, lots of good stuff there. She posted pictures and comments and stuff in the blog. Be worth looking at. And sounds like Red Dragon in Australia is pretty freaked out by some of the changes in his area, so he's on a road trip, I'm guessing, by now. <laughs> and... We've had a request for Utica, Michigan area, so we had a little look around and found some pretty crazy looking stuff that looks like it might be worth exploring for sure. But as I was coming out of here, I just couldn't help but notice again that the Great Lakes period just looked messed up to me somehow, and I can't exactly put a finger on it, but... Oh, one thing I... For sure I want to throw out there for any Canucks that might know. I seem to remember thinking as a kid, out of the five Great Lakes, I always wondered, well, why is Lake Superior called that when it's not the Superior Lake? I thought there was a one that was bigger and it was second, but if that memory is correct, if you look at the map here, it's clearly not in second place anymore, I would have to say. <laughs> Maybe Michigan might be a close, but I don't know. I, I'm wondering, so I don't know. If anyone can set me straight on that, I'd really like to hear. But anywho, let's get down to business. Where do we start? South, north, eh, let's start doing here. I realize, I think the fellow that asked for this one was up in Utica. So some of these southern points would be a bit of a trek for you, but they just had to be mentioned, because cause they had to be. Because <laughs> they look kind of funny, as you can tell already, just from this far out, you're probably picking up on some typical wonky stuff, these really, really, really thin strips of land that... Obviously, I realize they do exist out there, but we're we just finding way too many of these situations where there's this funny strip of land and too much water in behind it. Funky looking land that, I don't know, what is it? And then, what else was there? See again here, we got Looks like you got the highway passing right by, so you'd be able to get a good look at this area and see what, but it doesn't look right. Looks kind of, I don't know what to call it, other than fake sort of thing, which is another signature of the weirdness that we're seeing. So, just... But this here, yeah, see, it's, I don't know, <laughs> it certainly could be definitely not saying that it's not a real situation and exactly as it should be here, but again, no, that was the other thing, the, the water trees. <laughs> Look at this island, unless they've had some See, yeah, uh, actually, I'm just realizing it doesn't jive up. If this water, were, if this island was as flooded as it appears with tree growth, that would have to be a really recent flood, which would mean that all of this shoreline along here should be way too high. Would these people's yards and stuff not be flooded? So, I don't know, definitely, I think that would be worth a boo and it looks like a really cool drive anyways if you can 
seeing what the hell is going on in this guy's yard. Oh, yeah, I'm talking about fake. Look what happens when you zoom in too close. All your trees and crap. It still shows you pictures of houses, but you're freaking all the the earth stuff. It, it all turns to this fake model looking shit. So, all just parts of the puzzle, man. The things that make you go, hmm. Yeah, fucking trippy though, man. I'd, I'd love to live out there. <laughs> That's a real, real scenario. I don't know, but yeah, this whole area looks a little, just a little sketchy to me from, and especially with the reports coming back from the folks who have had a chance to run out and have a peekaboo. See, there's, there's just, I mean, this probably real, I don't know, but there's sure an awful, awful lot of these cases where there's just too much water behind too little land. It's just the whole layout doesn't really make sense in many cases. Whoa, what did I do there? Okay, let's make sure we're not getting off track here. So we covered him. Zip into here and see why I plugged this one in. Oh yeah, See an island listed here, Negro Island Historical. I mean, especially being a historical site, would it shouldn't it be there? But it's not, and we have this look that kind of that we're suspecting means land is on the move. But yeah, why why is that island marked and not there? And then is this really here? Looks like you can drive right close to it and have a look for us. And then look all around behind here, make sure all of this shit is what it should be. Cause I don't know, I suspect maybe a lot of this land might be disappearing on us. Or maybe not even there right now, who knows. It'd be very interesting to see what you see. I'd love to have a dirt bike and be able to rip around all these roads and stuff. Okay, where was that actual pin? Right in here. How come? Oh yeah, I guess just because of all the... All this oddness. But see, like this, really, just by the colorations, what could some of this stuff be? What is it? What isn't it? <laughs> I don't know. Again, has that just not right look about it. And I'd love to hear any and all suggestions that, so that we can start getting this pinned down. Yeah, let's see, the whole, it'd be really nice to just to check out this whole bay area here, and if nothing else, if it is, if it looks like this in real life, it'd be nice to catch some video pans from different vantage points to see what the heck. Is that pretty trippy? Oh yeah, and this, is this, is this right? Like it's kind of, for one, if this, what is it, railroad tracks or the road? Uh, railroad tracks, so there goes any access to all the rest of this part of the lake by boat cut right off. I, I don't know, a ground level through the lake railroad track? I'd love to see that. And then look at this thing. It came this far twice. <laughs> nah, screw that. Let's not finish it. We'll just fucking start over. <laughs> Do this one. I don't know. Well, maybe, but I don't know, if I was a tax-paying citizen down there, I'd have some questions. And again, just, I don't know, man. It probably could be nothing, but a lot of that funny coloration that tends to mean funniness. Okay, that's Sister Island. Let me 
just drop in on here. But it, to me, we got our funny little sandbar and the, this very familiar cutout shape. And anyone else notice anything strange about a beautiful, well forested island with lovely sand beaches? This close to that much population? <laughs> Not a footprint on it by the looks of it. So that, to me, is rather bizarre. And this one I honestly didn't look at before. It's not underwater, is it? No. Okay. But again, see the typical... If you can get a shot of this thing from somewhere, it'd be nice to watch because I think we're going to get to see that one expanding some more. Alright. Where are we here? What's going on down here? See who Look at this, this is going to be one big island, I bet you, at some point. Could be wrong, but again, look at this, it just doesn't look used enough to me. Let me double check that before I go sticking my foot in my mouth. But look at this, it looks like a, I don't know, like some kind of wasteland thing or something. <laughs> Again, not saying it's not real, could very well be there, but I don't know. Lots of suspicious trademarks. <laughs> yeah, see, look at this. What? Are you kidding me? Nothing here. Nobody, not nobody. What's with that? And then right here, this tiny little thing. You got this going on. Really? I don't know. Okay. Something to check out. But since you're in the neighborhood, see in here again, we've got what? We've got something, but it looks like something that may have been above the water that now isn't. Or vice versa. Maybe it's coming up through the water. So it'd certainly be worth having a look at that. Oh yeah, I thought this was kind of trippy here. Like, what's going on on this island? Anybody see anything jumping out at you right away? I like this little one down here. It's nice. But how about the one, two, and the third airport <laughs> on this one little island? And funny, well, see, I don't know how this... To me, I'm guessing this, it's not mark, marking a future one. I'm guessing this grass strip here is the airport. But really, you needed that when <laughs> you couldn't do the, the two and a half minute drive over to the real airport with the tarmac and all? I don't know, maybe. <laughs> Seems kind of suspicious, though. Where the hell was that other marker? right here. So what? <laughs> Is that a future airport coming? I don't know. Pretty strange, pretty strange. Rattlesnake, what do we got a fuck another airport now. <laughs> oh, shit. Well a grass airport, I guess. Sorry. Wow. How long is that? Let me see if we could even land. Well, I guess maybe a Cessna or something. Just curious. No, point. It's barely a quarter of a mile long. Like, not even, man. Quarter of a mile? I don't know. Or any of you. Certainly the only thing that could land on that would be a Cessna. Like a small one. If there's any pilots out there that could bring me up to speed on that. That would definitely... Did we look at this guy yet? I don't think we did. Sorry if we're doing a repeat. <coughs> but I'm pretty sure we didn't. But again, suspicious. Very suspicious. Lack of travelers. The little finger bar. Again here. 
It looks like a location you could drive fairly close to and then see if this thing really runs out there the way it does. See, it looks like, I don't know, is that road? No, never was no road or nothing. It's just, just a beach, I think. Big, long, skinny beach. It's a little curly finger going to come do the wraparound thing and then it'll start to fill in. <laughs> So you can see the dirt flow and stuff under there. It's so trippy, eh? Friggin' amazing stuff. Okay, let's see where else we had to go. Let's zip down to Trenton. But as you can see, if any of you that are watched a few of these, you've got to be getting pretty familiar with the colors here by now that mean different stuff. And again, we got our really bizarre land formations here. Those skinny finger things. Again, like all the way up here, like really? I don't know. <laughs> but, really? <laughs> I don't know. See, this is a queer ass stuff that you just gotta figure it's Google glitches or whatever, but that's why we're doing what we're doing with getting boots on the ground out there and finding out what the hell are we looking at or not, right? I'll be wasting your time or mine. That's really the only reason I started doing this. When I started doing the videos and logging this stuff, it was just for myself and I figured why it clog up my hard drive when I can use YouTube, right? <laughs> Next thing, you know, then I thought, you know, if they're out there, maybe I'll get some help to kind of keep an eye on this stuff, because it's too much to watch. And I'm honestly, I'm absolutely shocked, you guys, at the interest. Look at this snaky little bugger, eh? Shit. For real? I don't know, but... Oh, damn, I'm getting sidetracked here. So, yeah, I'm, thank you very much, because it's really working as far as helping me <laughs> keep an eye on things. I wonder if this is maybe an airport coming in here. I know that's kind of a stretch, but if you've watched a few videos, you'll know it's not that much. Oh, that was going to be my point here. Over here, you got Mud Island. Look at him. Can't, well, I can see a spot of mud maybe there, but pretty much pretty well treed, right? And then down here, you got Grassy Island all covered with fucking mud. <laughs> Who names this shit? I don't know. And again, you got that when you try to look at the trees, it goes to the fake model earth instead of while leaving all our man made shit looking right, right? <laughs> just notice, just, just saying, I don't know, I don't know what it says, just pointing out things I'm noticing. Alrighty, what have we on the go here? I'm guessing this would have been part of the reason. Let's see if that water... See, it looks like it's kind of spreading a bit. Who knows, but if you're there anyway, it'd be nice to run a shot of video across that just to get it in case this water is on the grow. Because there's a lot of water on their island there. Okay. And this one here too. Like, again, back to the, the fake. See the model earth instead of the real earth? But, and even just the layout of it, it looks like, like a fairy tale island or something, doesn't it? In that we do do a lot of funky man-made stuff too. Look at that little footbridge in there. So it's definitely not unlikely that we couldn't have done this with backhoes and bobcats and stuff, but I don't know, again, a lot of money for what if you're going to do that you're probably oh hey there's someone out here something 
<laughs> trippy. But you're probably going to turn this whole thing into a resort. I would. If you're going to have one of those little foot bridges, you're going to have all your little places connected and have them all covered with little villas and stuff, but this doesn't seem to be the case, so, yeah, pretty funny looking island to me. I'm just trying to see if I missed anything else over here. Doesn't appear to be. What's this up here? okay I think okay Lake St. Clair this thing looks pretty messed man I realize some of this is over on the Ontario side but I thought I'd throw it in there because well you never know we might have someone from Ontario too why did I mark this oh yeah the Everglades the Florida Keys Venice type situation. I don't know. Is this real? We got a lot of this going on down there. Oh yeah, these little sandbars really got my attention too. But there's seems to be an extraordinary amount of these kind of Florida Keys wetlands type situations that. Yeah, I spent probably 10 years down in Ontario, and I traveled down around the Great Lakes quite a bit. And I don't remember seeing a lot of these kind of communities, but certainly doesn't mean I didn't miss them. Right, if this is another one. Nope, it's out of, well, kind of, yeah, see a lot. Well... The hell are they living on tarmac or what? Well, it must be dirt. You get them any tighter together, I don't know. Yeah. No, I'll pass on that neighborhood. Okay. So, anywho, see this stuff up here, this silty look in the water for one draws my attention. Number of these, again, there's. Islands out here with absolutely nothing going on on them. I mean nothing. Well, can't get nothing out of that. But, yeah, see? Doesn't this look like land under water that shouldn't be or something? I don't know. Check this dude out. <laughs> Are you for real? Really? So he's got a bridge over to his garage. Oh wow, and over to what? The backyard island, I guess? I don't know. <laughs> wow, trippy. That guy is. Where the hell is he? He must have to boat to somewhere. But what's with all the water? Why all this? silty water, this cleaner water in behind here, all these flooded trees or whatever, bushes, I don't know, but, okay, we're back up onto the Michigan side here, I think, I, oh no, that's a different line, sorry, <laughs> but yeah, check this stuff out, does that really look right to you? Sure don't to me, man. Not at all. So if you can possibly get anywhere where you can get some good looks at some of this stuff, I think it would definitely be worth keeping an eye on, for sure. Now the other thing I wanted to point out up in this neighborhood was see how, I mean this is all Lake St. Clair, right? And water represented with the blue obviously so what's going on with this why 
like these maybe I don't know this land jutting out but especially this one why this what well, we're looking at water but it's it's separated from the water you know what I mean I'm trying to say this the lake is kind of into here and yet it's still showing us this and I'm kind of wondering if this isn't just the last vestiges of that reality on its way out and all this is gonna be underwater here soon so you really need to hustle your hiney down there and get some pics for us before this shit disappears <laughs> all right let's see what's going on in here i didn't look too close to this peninsula but it looks like i should see the underground island here or underwater sorry And really, I don't know yet. I'm guessing, like out in the ocean and stuff, I'm suspecting this stuff is coming up and not going away. But maybe that's not always the case. Maybe this one was here and now it's on its way down. Or it could be on its way up. So it would be nice to get footage of that bad boy for sure. And again, this area, highly suspect. Back to the... I don't know. This is the poor people's Everglades here. <laughs> well, I don't have a boat, but my neighbor does. So, so there. So yeah, you're gonna want to have a look around there. Okay, have we covered all the tags? I think we may have. Well, what the hell is that? See, it's all water in through here too. Look at that. It is, too. How far inland is that from? I'd be a little concerned if I was between it and the main... Look at this fissure or whatever it is here. What the hell is that? And I just... The creek, I guess, before it turns into a river, actually. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> Excuse me while I pull my foot out of my mouth. <laughs> yeah, it's gotta be just a creek. Sure, running awful straight though. All right, I think we may have, for the most part, covered most of it. Yep, we're back into the Michigan side now, and as you can see, lots of questionable stuff. Well, this ain't so questionable. That looks right. You got a beach and a nice little island, and of course, there's boats all over it and around it stuff right like it should be uh, okay well I don't know looks well that looks a little suspect if it isn't man-made better be if it ain't man-made there's something wrong with that for sure but yeah all this here I'm not sure that you'll even see it. If you can drive down any of these, if they really even exist, and film over to here, it would be really good to see, because I don't know that that is still there, or going to be for very much longer. Really, isn't this crazy? Look at this run down into here, into the Florida Keys. <laughs> Wow, I don't know. I can't wait to hear if this is really a typical situation you'd find around Michigan. See, this all looks to be flooding here. And again, same question, if this indeed is flooding to a higher degree than normal, why, why is an un, you know, why not the rest of it? Alright, yeah, see? Yeah, it's all pretty wet looking stuff there, bro. I think you're gonna find some issues with your place. Oh wow, check this out. Yeah, that was the other thing I was finding. 
there's not that I know it happens where you have places like this where people live on isolated communities where you got a boat in, but there's just seems to be too much of it. Like, look at this guy, no road access. Do you even see a pier there? Could you even get a boat through all this stuff? <laughs> I don't know, might, might not. It's kind of sketchy, but certainly questionable at the very, very least. And since we have a willing participant who is willing to go and let us know what we're looking at, so you can check this shit out. And why these and not the rest, right? Very bizarre. I think, anyway. But that could totally be just because I'm not at all familiar with the neighborhood. Oh yeah, and this one, I couldn't help mark this. Check these guys out. I mean, Florida Keys or what? Oh yeah, and that was the other thing. Like, follow some of these streets. Look, there's no, no crosses at any of the ends here. No intersections, whatever. So, you've got a pretty decent run to come in and all the way around down to your block. But that's nothing. Like, some of them, check this guy out. All the way in from here and out and around. I don't see no bridges there, no. Crosses here to keep going this way and here. But no bridges and nothing at the end. Are you fucking kidding me? Talk about a safety hazard. I mean, what if you get fires happening on, in some of these places? You couldn't even go anywhere. But I don't know. Sometimes safety ain't first, too, right? It's all about the dollar, primarily, first, always, so... But, I don't know, that seems kind of extreme. Why wouldn't you pop a bridge at least across at the end here, so you could come in from either direction? And then, same... Oh, God. Take a second. Okay, see, same thing here. Look at these guys. I never even followed this one through, but we have to, because there's obviously no exit off there. Wow. Wow. So they're running all the way up here. Wow. Still trucking. No bridge. Still trucking. It's like, oh my god, did we miss a turn or what? <laughs> and here we are. Holy shite. Isn't that a little bit Ridiculous. I really have trouble buying that, folks. That's not, not right. Okay, so that concludes the farewell tour to Michigan, <laughs> as it were. Because I don't think you're going to find things as you did the last time you ventured down from Utica. So... Hopefully we didn't turn your world too upside down and have fun. <laughs>